I'm going to do a look that I think is perfect for prom. I know a lot of you guys have been requesting it because I think prom's coming up for many high school students. Yeah, I wanted to do a look for you guys. And I wanted to do a look that I think is really suitable for all different kinds of dress colors so that it's really going to match pretty much anything. And also a look that isn't too dark and too crazy dramatic so that you're not going to look back on your pictures in a few years from now and thinking like, what the heck was I thinking? It's just a really, really soft, smoky eye using very neutral colors and not using too much black so it's not too, you know, overpowering. And then the rest of the face is just kept very fresh. And I haven't added false lashes just because I think, you know, some people might not be comfortable wearing false lashes at that age and I think it's not really necessary, but you can also just add falsies if you want kind of a more dramatic look. So I hope you guys enjoy it and keep on watching. So the first thing you're going to need is a gel eyeliner. You could use a liquid liner too, but I just prefer the gels. I think just they're more long lasting. And we're going to start this look kind of in reverse. So the first thing you want to do is want to do an extended kind of cat wing eyeliner. You can use an angle brush or like a paint brush and just do a winged eyeliner. You know you never seem to mind when I get up late and want to stand for the night. We'll watch some sunny. So now we're going to go in with some darker colors. So you're going to need a charcoal gray, a really light color, and then a black. So I'm basically starting off with a darker color first. So I'm mixing together the black and the gray for this look. And I'm just going to use a tissue so that it's going to catch any fallout that comes down. And then with an angle brush, I'm going to apply some of that darker color, like the black and the gray that I kind of mixed together, and just kind of blend out that winged liner that I just applied. And this is just going to make a really much softer, less harsh look. So I'm just really blending that out. Next, you're going to need a mid-tone taupe color in a matte finish. And then with a flat brush, you want to apply that to the middle part of your lid. And this is going to help to blend out those much darker colors. Then I'm going to use a soft blending brush and just apply some of the dark charcoal gray color to my crease. And just with soft circling motions, I'm going to really just smoke out this whole look. I'm going to really apply that mainly to the crease area and then just blend it out. And then you want to use like a very light brown color just to define your eye and I don't want to use a really dark color here because it's just going to look too overpowering I think so I'm just adding that to give some depth to my eye area and, and if you want to go for a little bit more intense look just add a little bit more of those dark colors into your crease and on the very inner part of your eye, you want to use like a very light shimmering eyeshadow. And I'm just going to apply that to the inner third of the eye just to give a really nice highlight there. You do it the same shade. And if you've worn off some of the darker colors on the liner, you can just use some black eyeshadow and just blend that right back in. And underneath the brow, I'm going to use this pencil from Anastasia. And this is really just to give a nice highlight under your eyebrows, but you can also use a like a lighter eyeshadow if you want to do a highlight there, just using eyeshadow, that's totally fine. So let's make this. So on the lower lash line, I'm going to use those darker colors, like that charcoaly gray color, and just apply that right on my lash area with a soft brush and blend it out. I'm not going to take this all the way in because that can kind of close your eyes up. So just stick to the outer part. And then on the water line, I'm going to apply an off-white pencil just to really brighten up the whole area. And you can also apply it just on the very inner tear duct area, and that's just going to give a really nice highlight. So for the face, I'm first I'm going to do some highlighting. So for this, I'm using the Magic Lumi. This is actually supposed to be a primer, but I think it works so much better as a liquid highlighter. So I'm just going to dab that in using the tips of my fingers, and that kind of just warms up the product. And I'm just applying that right on the very top part of my cheekbone area. Then I'm going to go over with this Beauty Powder Blush. This doesn't have much color. It's kind of more of a highlighting product that doesn't have too much shimmer in it. So that's going to photograph really nicely if you get like pictures done and stuff. So I'm going to also apply that um, as a highlighter. I 
And for blush, I went for this really sweet, like, baby pink shade. Nothing too bright or garish, something that's just really flattering with your own skin tone. And I'm just going to apply that to the apples of my cheeks and work it backwards. So you don't want to work it to the front of your face, more like to the back of your face. Coming back, I'm stuck in a rut, I can barely do without your fight. So for the lips, I want something super long lasting that's really going to stay for the whole night. So I'm going to use a lip liner in a nude pink color and just apply that to my whole lips. So I'm lining the lips and then filling in my lips with that lip liner. And then I'm going to just add a little touch of gloss, so I'm not adding a ton because that can kind of smear really easily. You really want to focus this on the middle part of your lips. And this one has to have a little bit of shimmer in it, and I think that's cute for pictures without it looking too sparkly and stuff like that. And then that's it for the look, so isn't that super simple? I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, I would really appreciate a comment down below and a thumbs up and subscribe. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye. Just like when we were kids, still the car and drive to me.